I was at McLaren for a long, long time. Very much of my family that I'd grown up with since I was 13. I felt like I'd achieved everything that I'd felt that I was going to achieve. I was wondering what the next step is, you know, what's the next big challenge? Going to a team that had not had the success, that's, you know, it was the fifth best team at the time, and going to be a part of their growth and their journey to becoming the best was, was intriguing to me. I prayed about it, I thought about it a lot, I tried to I weigh up, weighed out the pros and cons, and, you know, can I go to another place and win in another car? Can I go to another place and captivate a large group of people into wanting to work and give me the best car. One day I was sitting and I was looking over the ocean, I was super relaxed and it just came to me and I knew 100% what I was gonna do. Signing the contracts and that was, I was nervous as hell, you know, my, I was, it's like I was in a race, you know, I had even more actually, more nerve wracking than the race. I was like, I can't believe I'm doing it, you know. Afterwards, I felt regardless of what's going to happen, I'm responsible for my own decisions, my own actions. I think that was the first time I'd made a particular decision that had had such a positive impact on my life, you know. It was great when you arrive and people, you know, all these individuals who had opinions about it, we would turn up, we rock up and we won the world championship and it's like everyone, and you just imagine it, everyone's like, I knew he would do it, I knew they would do it, I knew it was the right decision but you know that they're just full of it. <laughs> that brings you a lot of satisfaction, yeah.